So guys, by now we know when to water because in the last video we spoke about uh, the stick method. Uh, you can poke the stick and check if the soil is completely bone dry or not. Now once the soil is completely bone dry, uh, that is when you are going to go ahead and water your succulent. Now after the soil has been bone dry, you can uh, wait for another two or three days. It's not a compulsion that you have to water immediately. You can even wait for three or four days as well. Or you can even wait if you're very worried or if you're very confused, you can even wait for some more time and you will start start noticing wrinkles on the lower leaves that indicates that your succulent is thirsty or once the soil is completely bone dry you can wait for two or three days and then go ahead and water now the most important thing how you're going to water please do not use a misting bottle never use a mister to mist like a lot of people tend to just mist the upper layer of soil like this this is not going to work out really well one because this misting is not enough you have to do a complete watering when the soil is completely bone dry when you are going to use a mister bottle bottle or a misting bottle you are going to miss the upper layer of soil only the upper layer of soil is going to get wet it's not even going to get wet it's going to be moist and we as we all know that the upper layer of soil tends to dry much faster so immediately you are going to mist your upper layer of soil and within couple of uh, probably an hour or so the water is going to get evaporated so it's not going to be enough for your succulent though you might uh, think that you're going to save your succulent from getting overwatered but then probably your succulent will get underwatered and your succulent will not look very healthy there is going to be a lot of wrinkles so the best method is once the soil is completely bone dry you have to do a complete watering and always water in the soil do not water on the succulent because uh, watering on the succulent could lead to a lot of problems uh, there could be uh, you know probably a fungal infection on the succulent if the water tends to stay on the leaves or they could be a crown rot now i'm not saying that crown rot will happen 100 percent but there is a small little chance and we do not want to take that small little chance it's very simple all you need to do is just take your watering bottle and just water the soil like the way i'm doing over here you can do it in a circle in motion if you want or you can just add it in one place like this and water until the water starts passing through the drain hole which will take some time because the soil is completely bone dry now never ever water on the succulent now let's say for whatever reason while you are watering it you happen to drop some water on the succulent like this as you can see there's going to be water on the crown area so what you can do is you can just use a succulent blower you are going to get all these equipments on amazon i will also put the link in the description below you can check it out you'll get the entire set so just blow off the water it's very important that you blow off the water especially if your succulents are in direct sunlight because if that water is going to stay on the succulent leaves then the succulent leaves will get burnt because the sun is going to magnify the water droplet is going to act like a magnifying glass and it is going to burn the succulent leaves so it's very important that you blow off because this is a graptoveria marpin which tends to stay in full sun so if i'm going to leave water on this and if there is full direct sunlight it will get definitely get burnt so we do not want to get into it so now i will quickly finish up the watering uh, any water on the leaves ensure that you blow it off and then just water the soil so i'm going to just water it i don't see the water coming out from the drain hole as of now because uh, as i said the water was completely as i said the, the soil was completely bone dry so it's going to take a while for the soil to soak in the water and then uh, discard the remaining water from the drain hole so we're going to do this i'm going to just lift up the pot and see if there is any water coming out and as you can see that the water has started to pass through the drain hole which means that we are completely done with watering the excess water is going to flow out so this is what is called as complete watering so you water until the water starts passing out through the drain hole now this can only be achieved if you are going to have a well draining porous loose soil that's only when this is going to happen otherwise if you have a soil that does not drain properly then it's going to be very difficult for the excess water to drain out remember as we have spoken about this uh, if there is excess moisture in the soil if there is water that tends to stay in the pot then obviously your succulent will get rotted so you have to ensure that you have a well draining soil you have a drain hole in the pot so now if you're going to take my advice uh, 
use a pot that has a drain hole especially if you are a beginner there are a lot of people that tend to grow succulents in pots that do not have a drain hole but you have to be extremely careful because any excess water it's going to stay in the pot so you have to be very very careful while watering you will again have to do the stick test by checking that the soil is completely dry or not and then water it again you have to water it very sparingly so that it does not fill in the container so you can see it's going to be a little bit of a trouble for a lot of beginners so i would advise if you want to grow your succulents just use a, a pot with the drain hole it's going to make your life easy but again there is a way of growing succulents in pots that do not have a drain hole i personally do not grow succulents in pots that do not have a drain hole all of my pots do have a drain hole because it makes things much easy so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting